My name is Larry Schick. I've been a weatherman in the Pacific Northwest for the past 30 years. The Pacific Northwest is full of wonders, beautiful scenery, diversity of terrains, and bodies of water. But we need to keep in mind that within all the beauty, there lie some hazards and risks. So I set out to learn more about how to better protect our community from the risk of floods. On a floodplain map, you can see what the relationship is between your property and the high-risk floodplain. We use topographic information of the landscape to understand the shape of the earth, and that's collected generally with ground survey and also LIDAR survey from airplanes. And we put those together inside of the computer, and then we can run simulated flooding events to understand what would happen when there's a 1% annual chance flood. That really means that there's a 1% chance that that flood can happen in any given year. So it's entirely possible for there to be two in the same year or in back-to-back -back years. If there are really significant changes in the patterns of rainfall or in the river systems, that might be a situation where we look at updating the floodplain maps. There are insurance requirements for people who live within floodplains, but then there are other risk reduction strategies that these floodplain maps help you understand. Now, they're not a perfect representation of a flood, right? No, they're not. They're tools. They help us understand patterns on the landscape and relative risk in different locations. It's very important to be connected with the community, your neighbors, and also county and state officials to understand your flood risk. A floodplain is any area of land that can be affected during a flood or high water. Washington State is called the Evergreen State because it is green, at least through western Washington. During a huge storm, this would be filled with water, conveying water out of the Cascades into the lowlands of the Pacific Northwest. Surveying such an area of the Northwest is very challenging. Hydrology is the development of how much water is coming through the river, and hydraulic or hydraulic engineering is where is that water going to go and how deep is it going to be. Total stations are used to survey underwater. In that case, you have one person on the bank who is operating the total station equipment, and the second person who was wading through the river with a rod, characterizing the different points underneath. What we're targeting is to identify changes in slope so that we can make linear sections and connect the dots to get the overall shape. We take the water level results and we plot those out onto maps. What we're really looking to do with these maps is provide a communication tool so that people can make informed decisions about where they live and what they build. It's our job as the hydraulic engineers to delineate those risk zones within the floodplain. When surveyors make a transect, they need to be in or near or on the water. But some areas, it's really almost impossible. One way to do this is to use LIDAR. LIDAR is a laser-based application that allows us to create topographical maps. We're a two-man crew with myself as the pilot and a sensor operator running the lasers in the back. By sending a pulse of light from the plane to the ground, it will bounce off of objects and they measure the distance by the timing. The accuracy of LIDAR is incredible. It can literally sense something as small as this rock. We're on the east side of the Cascades now, and it's quite a dramatic difference. In an area like this, where there's not much vegetation, if you have a fire, it totally strips any cohesion you have with the soil. As a result, when you have a thunderstorm in the summer or some snow melt, it may destabilize the slope, so you not only get landslides, but it also will concentrate the rain in the river valley much quicker. To complete the picture, we talked to a hydrologist. Rivers are changing during every event, so that means the public needs to be really vigilant because their risk is always changing. Some of the best information we have are from homeowners that have lived through floods 40 years ago that have that written down. If it's documented, people can refer to that and share it with their neighbors or newcomers that might come in. These maps help communities like yours assess flood risk so you can take action and be resilient. Learn more at floodsmart.gov.